Welcome, everyone, to an exciting broadcast of college basketball here on 2K Sports. Some great action in store tonight, seeing some of the best and brightest young players on the hardwood. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We've got the Kansas Jayhawks taking on the Yukon Huskies. And, and guys, there's just nothing quite like a packed house for a college hoop game. You hear the student section rocking and the band playing. This is pure basketball. Greg, there's a unique energy and vibrancy with college basketball that is unique. I mean, when you get two high-profile teams meeting up with future stars making a name for themselves, I think it just adds to the excitement. And so in the game for the Jayhawks, they've got Duncan, and it's Terry in at the fourth. Lee outside. They set the pick. The dish to Duncan. For three. Here's Gaines. The shot is off. And the Huskies going the other way now. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Martin. Lays it up and banks it in. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Lee kicks to Oubre. Huskies with the rebound. Certainly not the dream start they were hoping for, going one for four early. And you see Freak out there. Nobody is 100% sure what position he'll be best at on the next level, but they know he'll be out on the wing. He, he looks so comfortable in space. And with Freak, it's his plethora of moves that really impress me. He can create a shot in space anywhere and anytime. He's got a really good sense of how to operate from the wing. Games will not go. This is off the front iron. And one thing about UConn that has been true all throughout their rise as a power. They have yeah. always yeah. played solid defense. It's something the program really hammers home. Pass to Oubre. Right wing. The drive by Duncan. Great D that time for Martin. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of this. Wow. What a first half it's been thus far here for Freak. This is why so many think he'll be a star at the next level. And you can take all the measurements and do all the data analytics you want to, but all it takes is one half of watching Freak play when he's hot like this to know stardom is in his future. Some changes for Kansas. Deadman's checked in, and Daniels subbed in for Duncan. Williams dishes to Oubre. To halt the run, and the Jayhawks again can't hit. Kansas on D. Trailing by five. Freak with it. Williams picks him up. Plenty of daylight on that shot. And doing a great job here, just stringing together solid possessions as they build that lead. I tell you, there's no substitute for consistency, Greg. You know that, I know it. You can stay in control of the game. They'll stay in control of it if they simply stay good with their execution of the game plan and don't waste any possession. Now here's Oubre on the mark with the 15-footer. Oubre has got his first points of the game. That's an impressive spin move there, Kevin. I wasn't expecting him to show handles like that. Freak in its shooting guard, and it's Martin in a power forward. Now here's Freak, guarded closer. Can't get it to drop. Made three. Missed two from the field. And for Kansas, we've got Williams. And it's Oubre in at the three. Daniels passes to Gaines. It's blocked. And for the Huskies, Freak. He's in at shooting guard. And it's Jennings in at the point. And it's Freak missing. Kansas trails by six. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Williams kicks to Oubre. Back to Williams. There's the screen to the inside. And Gaines gets it to go on the assist from Williams. Gaines has got five. And, and Kansas always seems to be in title contention. I mean, the program does a great job of finding tough players 
and having a system that fits them best. Rarely are they not a title contender. And the Husky. And we welcome you back to college basketball here on 2K Sports as we get ready to get going for the second half of play. Guys, you know, it's been a close one thus far. Both teams have had strong stretches, but neither team has really been able to take control of the game to this point. And, and guys, this is kind of like a, a boxing match, a, a bit of a feeling out period thus far. The second half, we should see more things open up, and that should benefit star players like Freak, who will get more quality opportunity. And so in the game for the Jayhawks, we've got Oubre, and it's Gaines in at the center, locking down the middle. Freak dishes to Dane. And there's the pass to Freak. Shoots from the baseline. Misses off the left iron. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Day, the pass to Freak. Terry grabs the board. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Lee kicks to Ubre. Wide open look. Terry. No good. And the Huskies going the other way now. One thing with Freak that we know is he makes sure he gets his shots up no matter what. One way or another, he's going to get his work out of here. Husky's going with a whole new group out there. UConn with the ball. It's a one-point game. Now here's Freak. Defense right on him. Keith passes to Freak. That's good. Freak's got eight points. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. And exactly what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. Just more of the same. Freak in a two guard, and it's Howard in its center. Jennings against Lee. Here's Frazier. That's good. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Completely agree with that, Clark. They need stops and, and really can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are nice, high percentage look. And the Jayhawks making a change here. Now here's Lee. The feed to Gaines. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Just a tiny lead for him. Yeah, but a chance to make it grow here. McGuire gets to free. He dishes it to Splitter. 158 left in the second half of basketball. Calderon for three. Can't get it to go. And the Huskies going the other way now. And you see a lot of players who are very talented play with a me-first approach. That is not the case with Freak. He doesn't try and attract any unnecessary attention and just focuses on playing his game. Yeah, I like that about it, Greg. I mean, in a day and age where most guys are self-centered and it's all about me, it's refreshing for a player like Freak who doesn't invite that kind of noise. I mean, that's as impressive as a skill set. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. UConn with the ball. The lead is two. There's Freak. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Looking at the game for Freak. He has 11 points, and they've got to be happy with his work on the glass, too. And they really do. He is not giving up any ground in the paint, and when the ball goes up, you know he's going to be there to fight for it. Oubre is checked in for the Jayhawks. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. 109 left here in the second half. Oh. 
Lee outside. Passes it to Gaines. Lee kicks it to Gaines. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layup. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that brings them within two here. They'd have loved to cut it to one there. But they're still in decent shape if they can get a stop. Day dishes to Freak. Splitter passes to Day. To the inside. There's Freak. Connects. And with Freak, he takes a lot of pride in where he hails from. He didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his hand by any means, and his family cheers him on from heart. Hey, Greg, you can see it in this game. I mean, we're all a product of where we've been, our environment, our experiences. And with Freak, he doesn't take anything for granted. Some of the very best players of all time have come from the projects like Freak. And he takes pride in playing for Harlem when he's on the court. And so they foul intentionally. And no good this time on the one and one. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. No time to spare. They need a bucket. Without question, a dent, maybe a steal or a foul to get the clock stopped as well. Good ball movement here by the Jayhawks. Gaines kicks to Terry. Money! And he has brought them to within two points. Clutch shot right there. That could be the difference maker. Indeed, it might be a big, huge moment in this game right there. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away. No, you got to foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And that's exactly how you close the game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Don't be afraid to make the extra pass. If it's open, take it. Here's Lee. Fires the three. And Splitter pulls it down. And he commits the intentional foul. No good on the one and one. And so it's UConn with the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job.